I am Tarun Kumar Dhawan, currently working as JRF at Spatial Center for Nanoscience and I am here to present my work on Zinc Oxide Nanoparticle Based Photocatalytic Reactor for the degradation of multiple organic pollutants driven by solar light based UV irradiation. These are my outlines. First is the introduction, then we have the synthesis of zinc oxide nanoparticle, then we have the characterization of zinc oxide nanoparticle, then we have the photocatalytic degradation of azo dyes. We have chosen four dyes, which I will explain later. Then we have the proposed design for the photocatalytic reactor, then conclusion and references. Now the introduction. Organic dyes are some of the most stubborn and tough to degrade uh, pollutants found in the environment. Their removal as well as degradation has long been studied and their treatment is very difficult using conventional techniques and there are various classification of them like acidic dyes, basic dyes, tricuser dyes, sulfur dyes, etc. So here nanomaterials can play a major role due to their high photostability, large surface area to volume ratio as well as excellent tuning of size and optical band gap properties. So among various nanomaterials like TiO2, cerium oxide, zinc oxide, etc. The problem majorly is either the use of co-catalyst in the form of heterogeneous catalyst or uh, the use of acid or base at which these dyes normally degrade. So this hinders their large scale use as well as to fulfill uh, to fulfill this purpose in the present study we have uh, utilized versatile zinc oxide nanoparticle and also have uh, proposed a prototype in photocatalytic reactor which could be used to clean wastewater contaminated with more than one organic dyes with high efficiency. Now the main constituent of these dyes include various uh, organic molecules such as triethylamines, ethraquinone and azo nitrogroups and among these azo dyes are the most commonly found dyes in the environment. Now these dyes are mainly distilled from textile industries directly into the water bodies without any treatment. So they get leach out to the uh, groundwater also and can cause cancer as well as genetic mutation in living body. So these are also very harmful to the aquatic environment and uh, they also block light in the water bodies. So they, that is again one major problem. So in the current study we have chosen four dyes namely methylene blue, methyl orange, methyl violet and rhodamine B. And we have successfully degraded them using modified zinc oxide nanoparticles. So the zinc oxide nanoparticles were synthesized using co-precipitation method, which is a very well known method. And uh, the precursors majorly were of high purity. We have used zinc nitrate and sodium hydrate hydroxide. And uh, using this technique, we have uh, synthesized these nanoparticles at relatively low temperature of 350 degrees Celsius with pure fish. Here we can see the characterization of zinc oxide nanoparticle uh, from XRD as well as Raman spectra and in both the cases we have got pure structure, voltage structure of zinc oxide with all the peaks indexed according to the cubic phase of zinc oxide. In the optical study as shown in figure C uh, we have done the UV visible spectra and we calculated the talk plot and got the band gap of 3.12. The D part of the image shows the FESEM study and here we can see that very small size nanoparticles have been formed and they are uh, coagulated but dispersed in, uh, in the dispersed form. This is the photocatalytic degradation of azo dyes. The A part shows the photocatalytic degradation of methylene blue, B shows the methyl orange, C shows the methyl violet, and D shows the rhodamine B. Now, in all of these studies, we have not used any co catalyst or any acid or any base. We have just put in our nanoparticles in the dye solution and exposed them with the UV light irradiation. 
and we have got the results like in methylene blue the 99% degradation was achieved in 30 minutes in methyl orange the same 99% degradation was achieved in 50 minutes in methyl violet the 99 degradation was again achieved in 50 minutes and in rhodamine b the same 99% degradation was achieved in 30 minutes and the inset of each of them shows the corresponding uh, kinetics study which is the pseudo first order kinetics now this is the basic photocatalytic degradation mechanism where the due to the uh, irradiation of light the electron get excited and hole and electron pairs are formed and together electron as well as hole they start causing the reaction on the surface when the dye molecule is attached to the surface of the nanoparticle these electron and holes they help in the redox reaction as shown here and they transfer the electron and due to that the OH radical is produced which further causes a chain reaction in the organic molecule. So in such a way the dye molecules get degraded over a period of time. Now this is the proposed photocatalytic reactor as can be seen that we have proposed a reactor uh, from right to left we can see the inlet for wastewater injection and we can see three chambers fitted with shutoff valves as well as three UV lamps. On the top of the UV lamps, we have solar cells supplying the electricity for the uh, photocatalytic uh, for these lamps so that photocatalytic reaction can take place. So we can inject the wastewater from the right hand side, which will uh, move through the chambers, stop in the chamber for some amount of time. In our case, nearly 30 to 40 minutes would be complete uh, the organic pollutants would be completely degraded in uh, that period of time and these chambers will also be fitted with ultrasonication so that particles remain in the dispersed state for maximum reaction so this particular design we can use uh, for treatment of wastewater as we have already shown that uh, zinc oxide can successfully degrade four different dyes using uh, just the energy from the UV light without any co-catalyst as well as any acid or base. So in conclusion, we have synthesized pure zinc oxide nanoparticle and characterized using XRD Roman visible as well as SEM studies. And here we have uh, successfully degraded four different dyes using just the nanoparticles alone. And we have obtained the degradation percentages of 98, 99, 98 and 98% in 30, 50, 50 and 30 minutes. And pseudo first order reaction constant is also very good. So this result shows that these nanoparticles can be used for the proposed reactor de design for large scale degradation and can also be scaled up with high efficiency if required for the industrial purpose. These are the references and I would like to thank our group uh, at our, and our supervisor, Dr. Pratima Solanki and Dr. Lakshmi G, GBVS Lakshmi for helping me throughout this work. And I would also like to acknowledge my colleague, Mr. Amit Elawat, who has also helped me in doing this work. Thank you.